Hey, this is Kevin Thompson with draft to digital and this is D2D Answers, and we're going to talk about something that uh, I think is very cool. Ties in with another video we did called uh, uh, Author Pages. If you haven't watched that, uh, go ahead and tune into that. But now we're going to talk about book tabs, and this is where you actually get to uh, feature your book, and uh, this is something you can get it, you can use to get it out to uh, readers everywhere. It's a great discoverability tool, so let's hop in and see how book tabs work. Okay. Um, now we're going to take a look at book tabs. Book tabs are, are th this is our uh, sort of the book product page from Jeff Digital. Uh, and actually, it's not a book product page so much. It's a gateway to the product page. And uh, that product page can be on any online storefront where your book is sold. So uh, as you may have guessed from that description, book tabs rely very heavily on our universal book links. Um, and what they're going to do is give the reader a nice, a nice uh, landing page for each of your books, and these are used in conjunction with your uh, draft to digital author page, which we discussed in another video. So look for that. But uh, to get started on these, uh, we're back at the we're back on BooksToRead.com. We've uh, logged in. We've clicked on this Universal Links um, menu item up here. And uh, we get the Universal Links dashboard. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, we see a column here. This is this is a somewhat new column. This is not somewhat new. This is a brand new column uh, we've added to this dashboard, and it contains a link to your book tab. So you'll come here and you'll you'll choose the book you want to um, take a look at, and you'll click on that button. And here you see this is the. Um, this is the book tab page and we're, we're in, not in edit mode, but we're just about to enter edit mode. This is how you see it. Uh, of course, this green bar is for your eyes only. We're going to take a look at, uh, here. if you click see reader view, and now we're looking at the page as if we are the reader. Um, the gray bar up here contains some uh, menu items that are for your use only, uh, so the reader will not see these, they don't have access to them. Um, if you take a good look at this, this is a gorgeous uh, page, actually. <laughs> it's very, it's a very nice looking page, and uh, we're uh, we we're gonna scroll down. We're taking a look. This is a it uses parallax, right? Um, which is very cool. But this stuff here at the bottom about the author, this is what we set up in the uh, author pages video. Uh, the author page lets you upload your photo, lets you drop in your profile, lets you uh, drop in all your links. This is your website. Here's all your social media links. This button, uh, we dropped in the link for people to actually get on our mailing list. If we had not dropped that in, uh, readers could get on the new release notification. <clears throat> so let's go back up top. Now, here's where things get a little fun. Um, we're about now. If they clicked on this buy now link, buy now button, available at select retailers, it would it would give them the Universal Book Link page where they could choose the retailer they like. They can actually make that retailer their preferred default retailer, so that the next time they click on that link, they'll just go straight to the product page of their choice. So if they if they happen to read um, on Kindle, they can choose. Amazon's Kindle store as their default storefront and whenever they click that this buy now button it'll skip that that page we were just on it'll skip this page and it will instead uh, go directly to the, uh, the books product page on the Amazon store so this is where the reader would would if it's it's selected by default so the reader could choose to turn this off uh, but if they hit continue it'll make Amazon their preferred store um, <clears throat> now it does that with all of these so whatever their preferred store happens to be uh, very cool uh, and uh, that's a useful feature but here back on the uh, the book page itself here's the elements um, so this is the cover of the book of course uh, here is the title and uh, you can actually the reader can actually see more of your books by clicking your name here and that takes them to the author page we were just talking about. And, uh, you know, you, there's uh, edits and things you can make to this, of course. 
we're gonna go back and um, here is the description of the book now right now it's it's kind of all it's not formatted um, we'll take a look at that in a second but this is this is the layout now the background here is of course the image uh, the book itself um, and blown up and softened uh, you can see if we go to another book like this one is has the same effect uh, different colors um, you know any of these will do the same you know? so you get that idea um, we're gonna we want to take a look at this one this is the one I'm prepared for <laughs> so now you can come up here to edit you know take you into the edit mode um, for a moment I'm gonna discard the changes there this is what you'll first see when you come in from the dashboard so when we were on this dashboard and I clicked uh, book tab came up with this guy so those are that's two different ways really three different ways to get into edit mode well, actually it's two different ways to get into edit mode um, and uh, we're gonna start from here and click that button so now we're in actual edit mode and the the key to edit mode on on this page and on the um, author page is if you see a green outline then that can be edited if there's no green outline it can't be edited now you'll notice there's an outline here on this thing that says no tag and there's an outline around the description um, this is what we call our promo tag if you click on it you can select a variety of different promotional um, copy now if you remember and it made it maybe hard so we're gonna look we're gonna look back but if I discard the changes that tag is not there on this button right now so as long as it says no tag on it there won't be a tag for the viewer to see so if we come here now however and we click and let's say uh, we've got this guy on sale so I'm gonna hit save now this little red light bulb pops up and that is our indication that this has changes that need to be saved um, if you're like me and you're obsessive about saving as you go you can go ahead and hit save but what it'll do is take you out of edit mode uh, but now you can see this buy now button has on sale now so if you've lowered the price of your book this is where you can tell people that the book is on sale um, you can also say things like first in series uh, most recent book uh, let's see let's let's go through them real quick um, first in series series finale prequel book bundle multi-author bundle you've got a lot of options here um, <clears throat> so that is handy uh, very useful for promotion now let's take a look at the other element we can edit on this page and that this is the book description you can see what it's done it's ported this copy over from one of the pages uh, from that the that was scanned during the uh, creation process of the Universal Book Link, uh, and it dropped all the formatting and everything. Uh, so you're going to have to go in here, and you get a couple options. You get bold and italics. It's not fancy, but the the idea here, you don't want to go overboard uh, because you know it, it can it it can get a little weird. <laughs> you just want enough formatting to call out some things and uh, you know give your readers the information they need. So what we're going to do is we're going to break up this big gray block of text, though. Um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to I'm going I'm to put some uh, carriage returns in here, and uh, I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to bold that. So you can see now uh, we've broken it up, and it, it looks you know it looks a lot better. It's it's already looking better. Um, we can do that throughout this paragraph so let's just say I decide I'm gonna break this up every couple of sentences um, I've got a little bio information here so I'll, I'll do that uh, and then here's a call to action so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna selectively uh, highlight this stuff and let's, let's just say I want to make this whole paragraph here italics. Um, so now you're, you're, um, you're getting an idea of how we can kind of swish things around a little, make this, uh, loosen it up a little, make it, you know, a little easier to read, uh, a little more visual interest for the, for the reader. Um, 
and that's pretty much it. I mean, that those are the the things you can change on the actual uh, book page. The links and everything are handled through the uh, Universal Book Link dashboard. And, of course, all this uh, about the author stuff is handled on the author page. And, of course, it's all brought to you by the smart people at Draft the Digital. Uh, proud to be one of those. <laughs> but once you've made your changes, uh, it will tell you that there are changes. It'll highlight where those changes were made. So you know, oh, I haven't sh I haven't saved this yet. I've just did a whole, I just typed in a whole new book description, or I just uh, did a bunch of formatting. So I'd better go ahead and save this. So I save it. And there you go. This is what it looks like. Let's go look at it from a reader's point of view. So you can send out these URLs directly to readers if you like. If you want them to check it out, read their read the book description, learn a little more about you, whatever. Um, or you can send out a link to your author page and do the same thing. Uh, now, if I decided, you know, I just did all that work on Thirty Day Author and I want to make that the Hero, well, there's a way to do that. You, this is called the hero image on the author page. Uh, go back and check out the um, the actual video on editing the author page. You'll see how you can do that. But it would make this background and everything white, just like the the uh, 30 day author cover, etc. Um, but that's it. You are all caught up. We are now. Uh, you can get back to any books um, page. Uh, this, these are called these are called book tabs, um, and uh, you can get back to any of these by clicking on the uh, the actual author um, the the actual link on the author page. Sorry, uh, mine wandered a little there, uh, but you can you can go through each of these and edit them just like we did. Uh, you can see where you know. I, I and admittedly, this is going to take a little time, but this is great. Uh, once you've got it done, it's done. And uh, you get to control every aspect of it. That's one of the things we were looking for. Now, in the future, we may change some things about how the formatting is handled or whatever. But uh, for right now, we think this is a pretty powerful tool. So very excited. I hope that and that's a nice uh, message from my wife. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this. And uh, uh, if you have questions, of course, reach out to us at support at draft digital dot com. Take care. Hey, thanks for tuning in. If you have questions you'd like answered, check out the FAQ at drafttodigital.com slash FAQ, or you can read up on our knowledge base at drafttodigital.com slash knowledge base. You can also follow us and talk to us on Twitter at draft digital and on Facebook, facebook.com slash draft digital. And of course, hop over to the draft digital blog at drafttodigital.com slash blog where you can get great content that's aimed at helping you build and grow your author business. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Kevin Tomlinson, and this has been your DDD Answers.